She destroyed San Francisco. She destroyed, as the Attorney General, she destroyed California along with Gavin Newsom. And she, uh, San Francisco, you know, is, uh, was a great city 15 years ago. Now it's considered almost unlivable. You can't live there. Former President Donald Trump unwittingly gave Governor Gavin Newsom some fodder for fire as he slams Vice President Kamala Harris. Trump went to the border as counter-programming to Harris's acceptance speech at the DNC. She's the worst vice president slash border czar. She was the border czar. All of a sudden, she's saying she's not. You know why she says that? Because there's never been a border in the whole world that's leaked like this border. While the focus of the former president's visit was on immigration policy, it was his comments to the press about Harris's California career that caught Newsom's attention. She destroyed San Francisco. Absolutely destroyed it. She destroyed California. You can't go into California. You can't go into San Francisco. It's not livable. 15 years ago, it was the best city in the country, one of the best cities in the world. Newsom reposted the clip on social media of Trump, thanking him with the caption, the mayor of San Francisco 15 years ago was Gavin Newsom, and the DA was Kamala Harris. Trump spent the border visit attacking Harris's record. Under a program Kamala set up, an illegal alien arrested on drug charges in 2008 was set free to enjoy job training. A short time later, that same illegal alien attacked a 29-year-old beautiful young woman, Amanda Kiefer, stealing her purse and fracturing Amanda's skull. Former San Francisco resident Amanda Kiefer used her experience of living under Harris's jurisdiction to warn voters against electing the vice president. It was kind of a wake-up moment for me, and I moved out of San Francisco because I didn't feel safe there. And I don't think our country is going to be safe under Kamala Harris. While Republicans attack Harris's career, Newsom went on Newsmax to take a bit of responsibility for the state of California. How did California get so much homelessness? I mean, because, because of our own policies and neglect. We put up our, our feet and we rested on our laurels.